potentially one of the greatest things 343 can possibly do for their community and we'll discuss it in this video and how you can be a part of something special how's it going everybody it's kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary today we're talking about a brand new community feature that 343 debuted at the sunday halo final stream and i think it's something that's really special and something that's very needed for halo and i think it's gonna be a great program for us and so if you're new to the channel stay up to date with anything related make sure to tap subscribe as we talk about and do anything halo related on this channel but let me know in the comment section down below what your guys thoughts are on the grassroots community program that 343 is putting together and if you like these news and information videos and like to see more of them please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this so with Halo 5 finishing up its competitive run last weekend at the DreamHack Atlanta HCS Finals, sadly, it all had to come to an end. All great things must come to an end, and you know, Halo 5 is a great thing, and it had to come to an end, basically. And you know, a lot of us were kind of wondering, like, what's the future looking like for Halo when it comes to not more than just you know making a game and us content creators but uh just like the community as a whole because I mean, we don't really have anything necessarily to look forward to or any kind of events to look forward to it kind of uh puts us in like a weird state of going i don't know much about what the future is holding for us but 343 kind of tried easing those concerns with announcing two Halo 3 professional competitive events. We have a UGC sponsored event happening in January for the Halo 3. I think this is going to be a 4v4 tournament, not just 2v2, but a full fledged 3, 4v4 tournament, which I think is going to be fantastic. And happening in March, towards the end of the month, on the 23rd and 24th, another Halo 3 event taking place as well. I am very excited to see that at least some form of competitive halo will continue on uh may not be hit something though it's not halo 5 it's something to you know that's you know there at least and that's really great because uh you know a lot of people were kind of concerned about like what the future of competitive halo looks like and uh, with the 2v2 showing uh this weekend it actually had a pretty good viewership like around 10,000 viewers were the finals of halo 5 peaked around 20k so having a 2v2 tournament with about 10,000 people watching for Halo 3 that's pretty awesome and I'm really glad to see that there is some form of viewership for Halo 3 competitive and I would really like to see this moving forward if we get to see some familiar faces coming back or some new faces as well because the door's wide open right now for the community because right now anybody is able to you know do well and join these matches which I think is fantastic and this is all tying into the Halo HCS grassroots program where basically they're gonna so halo is gonna try to you know basically support their community of people who are content creators competitive and competitors for the most part and trying to like build that up which i think is great you're trying, you're trying to build a base and so then you can branch off to doing other things with halo and i think this is a great way to start because we right now there is a fledgling community right now when it comes to content creation in the halo and uh, right now it's just like it's such a delicate little kindle i guess you can call it i referred to it before is that um it's you know there's a kindling there you can start a really good fire with it uh but if something bad happens it could all go away and i think what they're trying to do right now is trying to promote this community to get more eyes out more people spread the love a little bit and so then more people know about this other side of halo beyond just the game and so then other people can get involved with it as well to help kind of build up this community as a whole. As they say, a rising tide lifts all boats. And I believe that's kind of what they're trying to do right now with the Halo community, which I think is a fantastic move to make, especially at this time where right now is the time to build your community for when Infinite comes out, it's going to be an explosion of content creation, streams, and just a community growth. So to start out this content creation, we have a group of people already are in the grassroots program. We have Ubernick, we have Vetoed, Action Man, and Nated, all fantastic streamers and content creators. If you guys don't know about these people, you really should if you're into playing Halo or watching Halo. These guys are great to watch and some people you need to take note of. Uh, I've actually also signed up to be part of this grassroots program. I put very lengthy details about why I think it should be in it. And I, 
I'm almost feeling certainly confident that I'll have a chance to get involved with it. So a big thing about this grassroots program is that it's going to provide prize pool money for comp competitions, which is fantastic, promotions and gifts as well to the community. And so then it just kind of gives you a reason to be more excited about Halo and give people like a reason to create content, push out Halo, start with the community, build that up. And I think it's a fantastic move by 343. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but really like this is like one of the best things that's ever happened to Halo. And I'm really excited about this. Now you don't need to be a big time content creator or streamer to get involved with this program. They say anybody's welcome to sign up for it. And then 343 will choose you whether or not you should be in the program or not. And so you just go to halo.gg slash grassroots, link in the description down below of this video if you want to check it out. And just put in your information and you know give a good reason why you think you should be part of this program. Like I said, I did it earlier today. And so I'm very excited to hopefully get a chance to be involved with this uh, program. And I think it's a fantastic thing. I even tried signing up as soon as they announced the, uh, the program and I tried going to the website and the, the page was down. There were so many people going to it that the website crashed. And I think it's, no, yeah, a lot of people go like, oh my God, it's terrible management or whatever. I think that's absolutely awesome. There's so many people interested in being involved with this grassroots program that it crashed the website. Also, when I was typing up my explanations for why I feel like I should be inside the grassroots program, it made me think about you guys and everyone who continues to come by the videos check them out the support has been fantastic ever really since halo online the support on the channel has been absolutely fantastic and i really appreciate everyone who comes by the videos who comes by the streams reads my stupid tweets or goes to the discord and hangs out and posts stupid memes whatever uh, the fact you guys come back return to these videos and uh, hopefully you get some form of inf information or entertainment or something out of the channel that makes you guys want to come back and just want to you know keep enjoying more halo and i think that's i just want to say thank you so much you guys are incredible without you guys i just be talking to a screen the whole time like a crazy person but now you guys give me a reason to create these videos basically and so i just want to give you guys my appreciation and my thanks for the continued support and you know, hopefully in the future moving forward, we uh, you know, just grow in the community, getting stronger, becoming more notable within the community. And um, I just want to say thank you very much. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video here. Like I said, if you found it informational, make sure to leave a like as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you think about the Grassroots program. If you're up to, want to stay up to date with the channel, make sure to tap subscribe as it keeps you up to date with the channel. If you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.